Well, I, I think uh, one of the big challenges for our study is that uh, turtles use a variety of habitats. Some of them are really tough to work in. Scrub, shrub, wetlands, uh, the herbaceous marsh. This is, these are places where the mud is deep, uh, the plants are thick, a lot of poison ivy, and we, uh, I'll explain how we track these turtles through these habitats. Well, we find the turtles move uh, from wetlands to uplands to meadows, depending on their needs and the season. Uh, and because they're using the wetlands much more than we ever anticipated, four years ago we began tracking them with radio um, transmitters glued to their shell. So what I'd like to do is pick a turtle up here and explain this project. All right, so we're going to go into the blue box, and it looks like we got a guy, well, you got something on his back there. So what is that? Well, this is, uh, this is a female box turtle. We're concentrating on them in particular. Uh, labeled on here is her frequency, 164.044. She is turtle number 128. We found this turtle in 1995, and we've been following it every year since then. For the third year in a row, we've placed a transmitter on a shell, and we're able to track its movements between the estuarine wetlands and the uplands. So we'd like to take this turtle and I'll show you exactly how the radio telemetry works. So tell us a little bit about what this is. Obviously, it's not a TV antenna and it's not a radio. No, you saw the little transmitter on the turtle's back. Well, after Morgan hides the turtle, which it seems like she has, I'm going to raise it over my head. I'll turn the transmitter on and it's put into a frequency. Oh, so, so what's that beeping sound we're hearing? That sound tells me how close the turtle is. And the louder it gets, the closer I know. And turn the antenna around to see which way the beep's the loudest. That sounds pretty loud right there, doesn't it? Yep, I think it's louder this way. All right. Let's go and find out where that turtle is. We walk about maybe 10 meters, then we'll stop, turn around again. In the woods, it's really hard. Right now, we're lucky, but because the signal will bounce off the trees. Okay, so now we turn around to see where it's strong, and that kind of gives you a direction, right? Yep. It does. Let's listen to that beeping sound. I, I hear it getting louder now. I hear it getting louder. Listen to this. So are we getting close to this little guy? Yes, we are. In fact, since we're so close, we can take the big antenna off. Because this way, we know how close we are. If we're really close, we can still hear the signal, which obviously we can. Oh, so what you're talking about is we're so close, the signal's so strong, you don't need the antenna anymore, right? Yep. That's right. I hope we don't step on him. He's got to be out here somewhere. Any ideas? Let's see. There he is. There he is. So this little thing on his back was sending out that radio signal that makes the beep, right? Right. Although turtles are abundant here, some populations in, in areas are quite threatened, and we're very concerned about uh, their ultimate health, and we hope that the research that we're doing here on something fairly common like a box turtle will be used, the information will be used widely by others, because I think we've demonstrated that a species that was not considered to be terribly wetland or even estuarine dependent actually does make use of these habitats.